Welcome to yesterday's airlines and in this video I just wanted to give a brief introduction to who I am and what I do and take a quick look around the garage which contains my collection of 400 scale model airliners. So I've been running yesterday's airlines now for about six years and the whole site uh, is really dedicated to investigating 400 scale models and looking at the history of aviation and the models are excellent ciphers to do that through. So I started collecting about 10 years ago and as you can see uh, this is a tiny portion of the fleet it's gotten a bit out of hand and now wraps around most of my garage and there are about 2,000 or so 400 scale model airliners here. So what I'm going to do in this video is just take a very quick look around um, and give you a brief tour. So one of the problems with uh, ever increasing the size of your model collection is that you start running out of places to put the models and even though I promised uh, to my wife that I wouldn't expand the fleet too much it's gotten a bit out of control and the most recent areas to be added to um, the collection are uh, this bookcase which has got a load of aviation books in it and this new display area for the Cafe Group, that's Cafe Pacific, and Cafe Dragon. So that is the most recent area um, that has been added on um, to the fleet and is off to the left-hand side of the majority of the models. Coming to the end of the garage and you get a, a pretty good idea of the scope of the fleet. So you can see the Cafe models here on the right and the rest of the fleet arrayed over on the other side of the garage. Um, the fleet is organized primarily by geographical region. So what I'll just do is very quickly give a whistle stop tour of each of the cabinets. Now the first cabinet here is containing, as you can see, um, mainly at the top airlines of the Hainan Airlines group. And beneath those, we've got some Chinese cargo airlines. And then we move into the rest of Southeast Asia. We've got Indonesia on a couple of shelves and then um, places like Singapore, Thailand, and moving up to the north, uh, Japan, on the lower portion of that cabinet. Next to those is the rest of the Chinese fleet. And China has become a real focus area for me, uh, an area that I'm really interested in. And you can see that these two cabinets here contain entirely Chinese airliners. Um, mostly on the left hand side you've got the big three, you know, China, China Eastern and China Southern. And then in the right hand cabinet we've got a whole combination of the rest. At the top we've got the older carriers from the 90s and then beneath we've got some of the more modern smaller airlines, Sichuan, Jimen, Shanghai, Jianyao, and Shandong, Shenzhen and so on. Um, filling out those. And this is one of the few areas of the collection which contains modern airliners because my real focus has obviously been on the classics, but China presents an opportunity to collect modern airliners. Very central cabinet in the collection here contains most of the African fleet and beneath them we're into Latin America. Mexico gets a shelf of its own and then we're in the Caribbean and top of South America and then beneath that the remainder of South America, Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, those kind of places. Moving along and the next cabinet contains North Africa. It also moves across the Middle East and takes in Iran and Afghanistan until you're getting across to the Indian subcontinent and Bangladesh. Beneath that um, we've got the Canadian fleet. Next we're moving uh, back towards Europe. At the top we have Russia and then beneath them we've got the Warsaw Pact Airlines including Soviet era Aeroflot. Beneath them we have most of my European fleet including the Charter Airlines on one shelf and beneath them the rest of Europe. Of 
course, being British, I could not have a cabinet for the UK. So this entire cabinet contains British airliners. Through the eras, through the 60s with British Eagle, down to more modern charter airlines at the bottom, like to a standalone cabinet in the collection is this little one on top of a load of more books and magazines um, and this contains manufactured house colours so we've got Boeing and Airbus, uh, Douglas and a couple of Embraer's, Comax and so on and so forth. Next we move into what is the core of the collection, the original core. Um, back when I started collecting 400 scale, I was only going to collect a couple of hundred American airliners. Um, always had a fascination for the US scene in the regulated era. Obviously, that didn't quite pan out, and <laughs> we've got four little cabinets here of um, US airliners nowadays. In this tall cabinet, it's American Trunk Airlines, Pan Am, TWA, American, United, Eastern, National, Northwest. And moving across to the newest cabinet in the collection, we've got the rest of the trunk airlines, starting at the top with Braniff, Continental, we've got some United Spillover, then we've got Western, Delta, and at the bottom, Northeast. Moving across to the next cabinet, and we start at the top with US Supplemental Airlines, like World, Overseas National, Transamerica. And then moving down, we've mainly got local service airlines, Piedmont, Allegheny, US Air, Bonanza, West Coast, those kind of airlines, Southern Frontier, Trans-Texas, Republic. And then beneath the local service, we're into territorial airlines, airlines of Alaska, airlines of Hawaii, and the interstate airlines, Air Florida, Air California, Pacific Southwest, and Southwest Airlines itself. And you can see I've got a single 200 scale 77 also. Moving into the very last of the display cabinets, and it's the deregulation era. Plus, just picked up a few space shuttles recently as well. And then down into the last geographical zone, which is Oceania, we've got New Zealand, we've got Australia, and we've got some Pacific Islands like Fiji. Of course, yesterday's airlines is far from just about the models themselves. I've also got a couple of airport dioramas, which I've designed, and uh, I don't get enough time to, to uh, put the models on and actually take photos and things, but I hopefully will in the future. The first one is um, what I've called right field, which is um, based on, loosely on Atlanta of about 1959, and you can see it's got um, only a couple of air bridges, mainly um, designed to handle piston prop liners, DC6s and such. But the biggest uh, of my airport dioramas is this one, which I've named Xin Long. Um, which is a representative of a modern Chinese airport. You can see it's got two terminals, terminal one with two piers, and terminal two with three piers and a control tower. So, um, you know, I've been gradually building up these models and the airports and their collection you know, for nearly a decade now. And this forms the basis of what I use to talk about the models and talk about the industry at the website. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick look around the Yesterday's Airlines hangar. Um, as always, keep a close eye out on the website and on the Facebook group. Follow me on Instagram and YouTube because I'm always posting new content about 400 scale models, about uh, the industry, about aviation in general, um, so it's a great place to keep up to date with what's going on in 400 scale and also, you know, to learn a little bit about um, aviation history too. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you later.